Well, throughout this pandemic, we have been hearing about the benefits of vitamin D, but a new breakthrough study finds those from the hardest hit population of COVID-19 can reap the greatest benefits by taking the supplement. African American people typically have lower levels of vitamin D and coronavirus has greatly impacted that community. So joining us now to discuss these important findings, Dr. David Meltzer with the University of Chicago. He's been studying vitamin D and COVID on various risk groups. Thank you, Dr. Meltzer. Great to see you again. Before we get into your specific study this time, let's just start in general. What is it about vitamin D that can help in the prevention of COVID? Oh, great. Thanks for having me. We've known for a very long time that vitamin D is important <clears throat> to the function of the immune system. Um, what got me started in studying this is a, a series of studies that I learned about way back in March that had shown that before COVID, people who were randomly assigned to take vitamin D supplements had about a 70% decrease in viral respiratory tract infections if they were vitamin D deficient um, at the time they started taking them. So that really impressed me and uh, made me think this needed study. Dr. Meltzer, so tell us um, what you have learned from this most recent study that the African-American community needs to hear. Because we know living in Chicago, we all have a vitamin D shortage, but this is really important to, to narrow in and that's why you did this study. So tell us what they need to hear. You're exactly right. Way, way back in March, when we first got interested in this, we did a study of the available patients who we had at the University of Chicago who had been um, tested for, for COVID. And we found that those patients who were um, vitamin D deficient were almost twice as likely to test positive for COVID um, than compared to patients who were not vitamin D deficient. Then um, over the period of pandemic, we've collected more and more individuals who've come to, to be tested here. And instead of the original 600 patients we were able to study, we now have 3,000. And in that larger sample, what we were able to do is study not just whether patients were deficient or not, but what their levels were, and then also to break it down by race. And what we discovered was that among patients who are African American, um, having higher levels of vitamin D is associated with a dramatically decreased risk of testing positive for COVID, about two to three fold. And what I mean by a higher level is a level of 40 nanograms per milliliter or above, which is above what is considered, quote, normal. Normally, people say that you're deficient if you have 30 nanograms per milliliter or, or less. What we showed is that for African Americans, people who have 40 nanograms per milliliter or more have a two to three fold lower risk of testing positive compared to people who have 30 to 40 nanograms per milliliter, which as I said, is considered adequate. So Dr. Melter, let's talk about this because when you talk 40 nanograms to me, that doesn't mean anything to me. So in order to reach that ideal level of vitamin D, what do you want people to know about what they should be taking uh, maybe on a daily basis? Well, this is complicated. We, we do, there's no simple answer because two different people can take different amounts of vitamin D and, uh, or the same amount of vitamin D and have, have different levels. Um, uh, we also don't know for sure that it is the level itself that matters or the fact that someone perhaps is taking a supplement which could cause the level to be higher. That's the reason that we're, we're studying this. And so we're doing studies right now to try to understand whether a relatively low dose, which would be say 400 international units per day, it's about the amount that's in a, um, a, a multivitamin, um, is um, the same or, 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 or different from a higher dose of 4,000 international units, which is the highest dose that the National Academy of, of Medicine has said is safe to take without um, having a doctor's supervision. So, so that's kind of the core comparison. Um, and we're oh, doing yeah. a study of that on, on the internet. Patients can literally just sign up on the internet okay. and we will send them vitamin D. Okay. Um, we are also doing another study funded by NIH where people have to actually come into the hospital here 
and um, not to be admitted, but just for clinic visit. And um, there we're looking at 400 international units versus 4,000 international units or a much higher dose of 10,000 international units. And there we check blood levels and so on just to make sure that people aren't having side effects of too much. Okay, so I want to jump in now because they're giving me the wrap. Bottom line, people who are watching, they want to know what's the minimum they should take just until they figure out what's the actual amount they need. So the, the, the recommended daily allowance is 400 international units. As I said, we don't know if that's enough to make a difference in, in COVID. Um, 4,000 is the maximum dose. 4,000 international units a day is the maximum dose that the National Academy of Medicine recommends that you should take um, without supervision of a doctor. So okay. somewhere between 400, 400 and 4,000. 4, Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Very interesting study. We appreciate you joining us. I think it's important information for our viewers. Thanks. Always good to see you. We appreciate your time. Oh, thanks for having me. Coming up on Good Day, it can be